Hey y'all and thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy and of course I'm Kathy. Today I'm going to do a pouring project um, that I was going for a more earthy look but as it turns out uh, my husband says it looks like Jupiter so we're going to pour Jupiter so let's get right to it. So I have a nice variety of earthy colors here and I'm gonna uh, just give them all one more stir. Uh, I have leveled my canvas. I've got my little level here and I've leveled my canvas because I want this to be as level as possible because we're gonna start pouring in the center and just let it go from there. I've got, uh, and some of these I was about out of paint so they're just gonna be smaller portions but I uh, thought it was a good way to use up what I had. So this is chocolate bar. Mississippi mud and I've got a navy blue territorial beige of course white and then I have uh, some sky blue Arteza and cerulean uh, blue now with the sky blue, I did add white. I wanted it lighter, so I toned this, I lightened this up by adding white to it. I'm gonna be using just my little pouring cup. Use any kind of cup. If you wanna use just a regular cup, as long as it's one that you can create a, cut pretty much of a spout without breaking the cup, you know, and your paint's going everywhere, uh, that's fine. So now I'm gonna create my, my layers. I think I'm gonna Remember that banking the, the paint, it can keep it on top a bit better. I had uh, several of these, like the, for example, the green, uh, the, the green I used in a previous, uh, previous pouring and had that left and so had a good bit left. So I thought, eh, let's use this up. I've added Floetrol to all of these with the exception of the Arteza is a two to one ratio. Uh, the Arteza paints are very concentrated so they're gonna take more of your, um, your additive, but less paint. I'm trying to just add the white kind of sporadically 
throughout so that it won't just be so, I don't want the white, you know, jumping in and taking over, but I want the, the contrast. So I've got her mixture, my mixture ready, and gonna pull my canvas back in. Gonna start at the very center and just pour a straight line onto the canvas and try to keep a steady, steady stream the entire time. Remember what you put in the in your cup first is what's going to come out last. Basically, I'm just doing some gentle maneuvering. Well, I don't think this is, this looks uh, a lot like a, perhaps a galaxy. <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, I, like I said, I used those eight colors. I had some that I needed to use up. So don't feel like you have to, uh, you have to use that many to, to do the, get this effect by any means. Okay, awesome. I see some little bubbles, but I think they're 
I'm going to put a little heat on them and see if we can get those to pop. Now, I don't recommend using uh, using a heat gun, uh, I mean, not a heat gun, a torch, unless you're very comfortable with it. Don't, don't do that. There's other ways of applying heat. You can get a, a heat gun. Uh, you don't want to blast it right on it or you're going to move your, move your paint. But that took care of those little bubbles, created a few more cells for us here. And I think that turned out pretty good. So I want to thank you subscribers uh, so much for uh, your comments, likes, and definitely your shares. If you're just dropping by Design by Kathy, I hope that you will also subscribe and share the love, and I hope you're having fun with your own fluid art projects. Uh, down below, I'll have the description of the paint, the, for, the, the recipe that I used. I've got a link to Amazon, which helps support this channel uh, with products that are either uh, that I've actually purchased or some that I want to purchase. I also have a link for Arteza Paints. Has a, I was given a 10% uh, discount to, uh, to any of my, my subscribers uh, who click through the link below. And don't forget to check out Design by Kathy. Uh, my wall is about full, so don't forget to check out the website as well. You all have a great day.